Liquid Sherry with Palette to Palette. And this video is all about our 2023 uh, Christmas Ornament Collection Volume 1, because I plan on doing more, but this is the first one. And I wanted to show you them and um, complete a few of them while we're doing this video. So let me go to the overhead view. I'll show you one um, to get started. This is our zip code ornament. So in the file, I have this one so that you know um, how it um, is supposed to look at the end. And then I have a blank one just to get you started. So um, I have the, um, the zip code in the middle, obviously. And then I have, oh, hold on, let me get up there. I have the town or city and um, state up there too. So with that one, and like I said, this one will be in the file so that you can just add those um, three things, the zip code, the city, and the state. It already says 2023 and it says home for the holidays. And I'm just gonna get um, a makeup sponge and a cream, um, a cream colored paint. And I'm gonna dab it in my paint and then dab a lot of it back off. I don't want the excess paint to fill in where I've engraved. So then I'm just going to dab it lightly. It, this is just going to give it color, but you're still going to be able to see all those lines through it. You just don't want to press too hard. So I dab it in my paint and then I dab it about 10 times to get the excess paint back off. And then I'm just dabbing lightly. If you push too hard on this, it's going to fill in all of your engraving and score lines. So you just paint that one up like that, whatever color you want, red, green, blue, cream color. I love this cream color. This is um, Wool Skein by Sherwin-Williams. I'm just going to fill that in. A little bit more over here. All right. Now that's what I got. And you can still read everything. And it's definitely a different color than before we started painting with the sponge. All right. So that's one. Put that up there for now so it can dry. Now here's another one. <laughs> um, I love this one. Um, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Moscato, Vodka, Tequila, Blitzen. I think this is adorable. <laughs> it's in the same shape as the zip code ornament. It's just turned vertical instead of horizontal. And I'm actually, since I have this cream colored paint out, I'm just going to go ahead and do that with this one too. Um, now, a lot of the, um, a lot of people are into the natural and um, neutral colors. And you could leave it white and put a colored ribbon or bow on it maybe a wood bead on the string um, to hang it if you didn't want to paint. But doing, like I said, doing it with a sponge and not having too much paint on your sponge, make sure you offload some of that paint. It, it works out pretty good. So there's that one. So that's two. I promise some of these will take a little more, little more painting. Now this one is a baby's first Christmas. So in the file, it's not going to have the name engraved there. So you can use whatever font you want um, and put whatever name you want there and then just cut them out and it's just around. Okay. But it already says baby's first Christmas and 2023. And with this one, I'm going to take a baby wipe <laughs> and because I know it's a, um, a Christmas, but I know this is a little girl, so I'm going to do a light pink with a baby wipe um, and kind of wood stain it. I love um, doing this with baby wipes, painting with baby wipes, because it gives it the look of stain. Um, you just can't do big blobs of it. So I'm going to start wiping where there's no engraving, so that, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna wipe lightly over um, the score lines that says "Baby's First Christmas" because I don't want those to fill in. We still want to be able to read that. 
And I'm going to go down here and go light over the 2023. And now baby's first Christmas ornament. You probably can't even tell on here, but it is pink. <laughs> So that's a light pink. You can probably tell if you put these two next to each other. Maybe. It's kind of hard to see in that, but it is definitely a light pink, which I think is very, it's very pale pink. It's going to be very cute for that one. Now this is a pet paw print and with the pet's name engraved on the back side with all the score lines on it. Okay, so this is the backer and then this is the front and you just glue that onto that after you engrave the name. Now with this one, I'm gonna do like a, um, a, a dark brown with a baby wipe. I'm trying to use the same baby wipe. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm gonna go in the direction of the wood grain, but I'm not gonna to press too hard. I wanna give it, um, some color, but I don't want to fill in the word, and I'm not sure how it's going to work on this one. Let me see. I might not have had enough power when I engraved that name. All right, so I'm putting a little bit more paint in this engraved line to try to make it stand out. And I think, I think that'll do it. And I'm wiping some of it back off. <laughs> so all my little tricks. All right, so now you can leave this um, wood color. And you can still see um, the pet name. Sorry. Um, there's a lot of shadowing, <laughs> no pun intended, because my dog's name is Shadow. <laughs> but um, so it's brown, and you can see his name um, clearly, and just the the neutral um, on top. And you don't have to leave it like that. You can paint it whatever color you want. I'm just going to put some wood glue on the back and attach these two pieces. But these two pieces are included in the 2023 Ornament Volume 1. And when I'm using two layers of quarter inch wood, um, clothespins work great to hold your project together while it's drying. You got a little too much glue on there. So I'm going to get a Q-tip and try to get some of it out. I mean, it mostly dries clear, but it would be it would be shiny. We don't want that. So this is the way that I do my pet ornaments. I'll leave that on there for a minute. I definitely think I would make the engrave um, darker on this. I don't like the way that that actually turned out. Um, but just make your engrave a little darker on that. Okay, so now here's another one. I didn't even wipe, clean this one up from the laser yet. But this is a um, an ornament um, with a last name. So you can put the last name on the backer piece. And then this is just a house with some tree shapes with the 2023 on it. So again, I'm just going to clean it up and get some of the char off of it with... A baby wipe. I do everything. I use baby wipes for everything. So I clean them up. I paint with them. So um, now this one, I think I'm going to um, do the trees green and then come in with a little white for the house maybe and do brown around the outside. I don't know. Let's just throw some colors on there and see what happens. <laughs> so I actually have the 
the cream color, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do the name with the cream color. Now most of this is going to get um, covered up because this is the back. Okay, so I'm only going to paint that much of it because then that all gets glued to it. So I'm going to paint that much of it and then I'm going to get some green. I'm going to put some green on these trees down here. Actually, I think I'm going to go all the way around but not do the house. I'll do that a different color. Um, but I think I will do the whole rim in green. You can do whatever color you want, but again, uh, just it's just a makeup sponge. And since I already had a little bit of brown out here, I guess I'll do the house brown. I mixed it with a little, or I'm using the cream colored um, sponge that I had. So it's kind of mixing. That's okay. Now, if you know the color of the person's house, you could always do it to match their house. Okay, so now I just need a little bit more green to cover up where I got on the outside there. And then put some wood glue over here. I put my wood glue in a in a bottle like all my paint is in so that it comes out pretty good. Thinner than definitely thinner than it would if I kept it in the bottle I bought it in because I bought it in a gallon bottle so and then you just line these two up put them together and close pin them for a minute Leave those there and give me a second because I have to plug my computer in <laughs> I already brought it over here Just have to reach over here behind me and plug this in. <laughs> Sorry. There. Now I'll keep these down. Okay. So we did the zip code, the Dasher Dancer, um, a pet uh, paw print ornament that you can personalize. Um, the baby's first Christmas that you can personalize. This um, this home one that you can personalize. And this is the last one that's going to be in here. And this one is um, a snowman. Now I already painted his mittens and his hat. So this little snowman has a poem on it that um, says this scarf holds a memory it's very special you see for when it's unraveled it's as tall as I used to be so wow I'm impressed I kept dabbing and reading at the same time um, so <laughs> I'm just gonna paint the snowman and then I've already painted his hat and his mittens. So I'm going to paint him, obviously white. And then, oh, I can do his arms brown, actually, because they're sticks, right? And then I'm going to paint his nose and his eyes. But this is another one that sells really well at, at Christmas time because then you throw in some, um, I use um, Baker's Twine. 
here's my baker's twine, and I throw about five feet of baker's twine um, in with it. So when they get it, they can measure um, the child's height and then wrap that around the snowman's neck for his scarf. Right, a little bit of brown. So this one takes a little more time, obviously, because there's a lot of parts to it, but it's worth it. It's a good money maker. Um, anything that you know, anything that can hold a, a memory, especially you know the size of your children when they used to be small. Now, I don't think I'm going to paint anything on that because it's made for the to look like the snowman is holding it. So I'm going to leave that um, natural. But I am going to, I need a little brush, there it is, and the orange and the black. I've got black here. I'm going to do... His eyes. This one has a bigger eye than the other one because my paintbrush went awry on me. Stop it. Now his eyes are different. <laughs> oh my gosh. I probably should have used a paint marker instead of a paintbrush. I'm going to try to clean that up. <laughs> you can't see it, but let me. I'll show you because it's kind of funny. My uh, my paint kind of went a direction I didn't want it to. So I don't know if I can clean that up or not. put another coat of white on that in a minute, but cleaned it up a little. <laughs> All right, orange, orange paint. Carrot nose. So it just takes a little longer um, to complete the snowman one because there's, there's colors and I did not have an orange paint pen or I probably would have used that for that too. And maybe even my glasses on would help because I'm definitely squinting. Okay. That part's good. I need another layer of white where I messed up his eye. We'll see how that dries. <laughs> All right. Now next, we just glue everything on. Oh my gosh, I did. I created these with the 3M on the back. How about that? Didn't even remember doing that. So that hat goes there. This part. I definitely have to glue on. So I'm just putting some wood glue on it. And that will go here at the base of his arms so it looks like he's holding it. And then we put his mittens on there.
dry up the excess white paint that's on there with the dry. Boy, I really messed his face up. You know he's got orange and white on his face. I'll sand it um, down a little bit and repaint those parts. So then you take this Baker's twine and it comes in, I mean, you can buy this right at Walmart off the shelf with the blue and white, green and white, and red and white um, stripes. And I just give a good amount. I mean, this one's definitely five foot, it's as tall as me. And you can actually um, wrap it around and package it that way too. But like I said, Baker's twine is what I use. And then um, they can just tie it in the front and let it hang down a little bit. And then they've got a, a remembrance of how big uh, Roman was in 2023. So here is everything that I showed you that will be included in the volume one uh, 2023 files. So the zip code file, um, the Dasher Dancer, um, Baby's First Christmas, you can personalize the Wilcox, a pet ornament, and then this um, memory scarf for the size of the child. Now, there's something else. And I will link these um, below where I got these, which are absolutely amazing. So last year, I swear I thought my fingers were gonna fall off. Um, from cutting strips and tying knots in them for ornaments. I even hired my 12 year old grandson one day to come over <laughs> and tie knots because I was tired of it. But I found these um, and they come in, I have um, red and green and silver and gold. And let's see, this is a green one. I want a green one on this. So you just put it through and you literally just push that end in that and it connects and it's done and it hangs and that's all you need. You don't even have to put it on the ornament. If you're shipping, you can just send it in the bag um, with, your, with your stuff. So that is that. That's what I wanted to show you today and how I paint some of my things. And like I said, I will link these um, ornament hangers below. And this file is my uh, 2023 Christmas ornament bundle volume one. Okay, thanks for watching and have a great day. Go make some money.